doors open, Jeff. Jeff's coming. All right, welcome guys. We're here on the Judson hunt. You pumped up? I'm actually, for, I'm excited. All right, but before we get there, we are got a super late start to it. It's 4.53 and the sun sets at 5.28. And we have a few errands to run as well when we get there. We need to put the rocks out over the dam where we walk over. Um, I bought a, another trail cam because I don't have any self-control because we moved <laughs> we moved the other part, only trail cam I have to that feeder. Trying to talk fast, trying to get it all in before we get there. And so where the deer come in or where the deer were coming in on the old trail cam, they were coming in behind it because I had it facing the pond. So this time I'm gonna put the pond to the back of it facing to where the deer come in. So we should be getting better shots that time. I already have the card in it, I already got it formatted. And then um, I'm gonna run down, I'm gonna pull the card out of the feeder, out of the trail cam that's been sitting for a couple of days where we moved it to the new feeder to see if we can get it in position to where Judson is hunting. And we're gonna see in the, in the while we're in the blind if anything came in on the past couple of days. So stay tuned guys, uh, it's gonna be a short little hunt. It's about to get dark on us, probably a little late to the party, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. All right, stay tuned guys. Be quiet. Do oh, need some help? Do you need help? You don't need to walk across. Well, I think I can stand by that I don't feel like that ground blind is in the best of spots. It's, I think whoever put it there, put it there because there were four posts maybe there that maybe an old dock was on. I don't know, I tried to lift up on it. It's pretty heavy in case we wanted to move it, but it take five or six friends plus me to move that behemoth it's pretty heavy what beam? behemoth what's that what's that <laughs> it means a big old goliath of a beast that deer blind feel how heavy that is to move so i don't know if that's going to be the solution for judson killing one this season or not either because it is super loud in there as well if you touch because it's, it's like an old uh it's like a uh something you transport water in if you ever seen somebody 
like noodle catfish and they try to get it to weigh in that's the kind of thing that they uh carried in the big old thing like that have you ever seen those tv shows or not but i don't know buddy if that's gonna be the solution but we're gonna leave that feeder there over thanksgiving break and we'll come back and pull the camera in a week and a half and see if anything came through if no deers come through then we might as well pull the feeder and pull the camera and put it back where it was originally and see through the off season see if we can come up with a plan for you to kill one okay yep make sure to subscribe to this channel right now and to jp fun videos which is my channel with a Z. This channel is J Hook Fishing. Subscribe right now. This day. If you don't, I'm mad. <laughs> Alright, guys. So feel free to comment down below. Ooh, bunny rabbit. Ooh, bunny. Missed it. You looked down bunny in the foot at the last second. Uh, so I don't know what the solution is. Little pop up tent line. I, I don't know. Uh, two person stand i don't know it's my first season guys i don't see investing all that money much money in it but until judson kills his first one and then decides if he likes it or not and wants to keep on going with me so i don't know stay tuned we'll figure something out Till next time guys